Hello guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to talk to you guys about a uh, updated concept I have for the Saiyan Prologue. And I'll touch on the uh, basic idea we have developed for all Koji and Namekian humans. Um, so getting into this, um, Saiyans, uh, alternatively at the start, they, or at the start of this Prologue intro uh, to Race's idea, they were set up to be on the planet Vegeta, home of the Saiyans. And then you'd basically be sent to Earth and the planet exploded. But the issue with that is if it's going to be a prologue with questing, you can't be like a baby doing questing. And if you're like, let's say you're Goku's age in Dragon Ball, for instance, 12, or like 12 to 15, let's say, even if you are 15, which is a reasonable level for some of those quests, um, I, I believe it'd be kind of weird if when the planet explodes, you're 15, you get sent to Earth, and Goku will be a baby. And then he'll age 12 years, and you'll like you'll be like 27. Uh, that'd be kind of weird. Without the Dragon Ball Saga at the age of 27, so alternatively, this is still in the thinking, but one of the ideas we were having was, basically, rather than starting on Planet Vegeta, you would start two years after Planet Vegeta exploded, um, on, a, on just a random planet. Uh, basically... Just some planet, uh, uh, the idea right now is either you'd be with your parents or some people who just adopted you. Uh, it's kind of weird, because it would make the most sense to be with your parents, and how would you be? No. So, you know, you'd be two, oh no, you'd be, um, you'd be being born while Goku's two and on Earth and whatnot, raised by Grandpa Gohan. And blah blah blah, prologue, 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 you get sent to Earth at the age of ten. And go 12, and you start the Dragon Ball Saga right there. Bam, bam, bam. That ties up the timeline timeline very well compared to the other one. It would rather be 10 than 27, I suppose. And I was going to go for like 16, or like Goku's age, 12, 13, whatever. But I feel like 10 works the best because being younger than the main protagonist makes a little bit more sense. Because uh, like, you know, I don't know, it just, it just works out better in my mind. If you guys think... An alternative age would be better to go ahead and comment down below or whatever. And um, I'm going to move into some of the more uh, integration with that. So, for instance, you know, your parents on whatever planet, whatever we decide to name the planet. Um, it'd basically just be those two saying, oh yeah, and the idea of your character heading to Earth, I didn't really touch on that. It would be because, like, basically your parents would figure out that they're, like, they'd be looking for things basically your entire 10-year life before you get sent down to Earth. Um, and your parents would be like, Oh, like, you know, the prologue would start after, like, your questing. They'd be like, hey, we finally found some Saiyans, or we finally found a Saiyan located on the planet called Earth. And, like, you know, they'd send you there on a pod. Uh, you know, obviously I'm going to refine it and add some more dialogue, make it uh, not so basic. But, you know, it would be pretty cool. And some of the integration would be, once you're in the Frieza saga, um, actually, never mind, I'm not going to touch on any of that, okay? I'm not gonna touch on any of that. Uh, that this would be. I'll explain how the prologue starts for you guys, but I'm not gonna touch on any of the story. Sorry about that. I'm not gonna touch on any of the the story integration that uh, happens throughout the story. Changes it. Um, throughout the changes the makes it makes the difference between being an all Koji and saying I'm not gonna touch on any of that in this video. But uh, getting into all Kojians. This one, uh, we haven't really thought out too much yet, but the basic idea was you'd start either on Frieza's homeworld or yet another random planet. And starting on Frieza's homeworld, it's never specified that all the Arcosians are bad. Uh, just the three that we know of. Cooler is just kind of in cold, but younger, you know? Um, Frieza's femboy and Nazi femboy, that is. In cold's just in cold. You know, uh, the whole Alcosian race could be all really nice people. Well, you know, Frost is really down in this pocket. Um, so let's just say you start on the Alcosian home world. Your parents are, like, worried, or whoever it is, your mentor or something. I think a mentor would work out better, so it's not just all your parents sending you off. And then, let's just say, for instance, um, your, your parent or your mentor or parents, whatever we decide, sends you to Earth knowing that Frieza is, like, starting to destroy planets and, like, become, like, a, a dictator-type thing, you know? Like, they send you to Earth. 
where they know is like a populated planet and whatnot. Um, the the idea of why everyone's being sent to Earth is a little bit of a touchy thing right now because, I mean, I guess it could all just be narrowed down to it's it's probably a planet that's within a say in pod range type thing, pod range. And uh, as for Namek, sorry, Namekians, they would start on Namek. I'm sure you can guess the integration that would happen in terms of the Frieza saga, Namek saga. <laughs> that would be a fun one for the Namekians. Boys, you finally get your damn punishment. Okay, so uh, sorry about that pause. I was reading something Try I just sent about. Um, so Namekians start on Namek. Actually get sent, sent down to Earth. Uh, that one's really brief. I haven't really thought of it too much. Just coming up with where they'd start. How the timeline would meet. You'd, every race would start at the same age. Uh, obviously they're all going to have different quests. Different dialogue for the prologues and whatnot. Um, and then heading into humans. This one. This one was interesting. The obvious route would be just make it so you live on planet Earth and one day you meet Goku as if you're with Bulma maybe. Maybe you can meet Bulma before Goku. That would be a cool idea actually. But the idea Triad I think came up with um, was that you would uh, be from okay this is a little bit of a stretch but you'd be from the future saga in Dragon Ball continuity or Dragon Ball Super continuity being the Goku Black Future. Uh, <laughs> quite an interesting thing, I know. So, the, you'd basically be a time traveler, is what I'm saying. But you, I think one of the ways to patch up the kind of plot hole, that would be Lark in there with you being a time patroller, and not just, basically, oh sorry, not being a time patroller, would kind of just be, you don't know you're a time patroller. You just kind of got sent to Earth, and maybe you grew up on present Earth, you know? Maybe your parents sent you away when you were, like, really young, like, two, five, I don't know, something young. Or, like, right when you were born, I, I don't know. Probably, like, at a toddler age, so you were not an infant, infant and shit, because I don't think an infant would survive if nobody was to found, find him. But, uh, yeah, for instance, oh, of course. Uh, but that's just a little bit of implications. I kind of like the future idea, just to make humans be more special than just, oh, man, I'm a human. I grew up on this planet, but I feel like that would also make the most sense. I mean, you still go, you still from Earth. The the future thing is just really a big plot thing, you know. Like coming from the future, you just have a lot of implications when you meet Trunks and whatnot. Maybe Trunks will be like, "Oh, I knew your parents," all that type of stuff. I'm not gonna get too deep into that as I did with Saiyans or Namekians or Kojins. And then going into something like half Saiyans, that one's really it's kind of. Continuity-wise, that really doesn't work out. Because, you know, Half Saiyans became a thing when Goku had a kid. And Goku had a kid in, like, you know, multiple years after the storyline starts. <laughs> like, how that's gonna work? Uh, I think it, I mean, Half Saiyans don't inherently need to be half-human. Okay? Let's just start it there. Maybe there was some Saiyan rebels who had a kid with some alien, humanoid-like aliens. That is. Um, and then they had a half Saiyan child. Uh, th there's a lot of implications for half Saiyans. And getting into Demon and Majin, uh, I haven't really thought about that one too much. You know, you could start in the underworld as a demon. Think about Demon and Majin. They might not be races you can start as. Don't, don't quote me on this. This is all just ideas for these two. They might either be races you could start as or races you can become throughout the story. Unless, of course, you pre-ordered it, blah, of course you'd get it. But I don't really too much like the idea of being able to start as a demon of Majin, because both of those storylines aren't, like, they're not, neither of them are really races in their own way. Beside demons, Majins are literally just the look of the Supreme Kai of the West. <laughs> um, You know, that's, that's a weird thing. I think it was the West, might have been East. Nah, it was definitely West. Fat boy. It was like the old Supreme Kai of the West. Or the... I don't, I don't know. I think there's a new one. I think he's fat too. Shit. Fat boys. Own the West. Like America. Got him. Okay, but... Sorry about that shitty ass pun. But getting into... Uh, 
I mean, it's not nothing else to get into. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to keep this. Oh, shit. We just passed 10 minutes. I'm going to get that AdSense that we don't even qualify for. Hopefully, you guys watched this video and enjoyed it. I'll have more videos coming up soon. I hope you guys are liking this concept I have for these prologues. If you guys can't tell, I have super high expectations for full release. And, um... You know, just all, all that type of stuff. I'm super excited to keep you guys up to date on this and whatnot. Get this update out. Um, if you guys are wondering the when this update will be coming out, it, we're looking at kind of during summertime is what I've been saying a lot. Because uh, summertime is kind of ideal. We'll have no, nobody will really have anything to do, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'll keep you guys up to date on that. I'm probably going to, I'm considering making a list of what's to come. Just so you guys can like... You know, you want to piece stuff together yourself, and that would just be a good list you can look at and figure out what all is coming. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions, ask me in the description, description comments. Uh, but yeah, doodle.